Now they're all in, locked up. Off they run. And as they break, a nice beginning. Fev Rover on the inside. Away very sharply, Rocky Sky makes a beeline for the lead on the outside. And it's Fev Rover in front. Up to second, Rocky Sky. They raced out by two and a half to With the Moonlight, who's gone to third on the outside, three wide from Skims. Amazing Grace on the rail, a length in behind them, Aspen Grove. One and a half to Moira, the outside of Consumer Spending. And back second last, Atomic Blonde. And to the inside of the hedge last is California Queen. They string out over about 10 lengths. And Fev Rover shows the way. Fev Rover by about a half a length to Rocky Sky. Two and a half to Skims as third. Three parts to With the Moonlight. A length and a half away, Amazing Grace on the inside, followed by Aspen Grove. Two behind them, Moira shading consumer spending. Four or five lengths away came Atomic Blonde. And the trailer remains California Queen. But out in front, Fev Rover. Out in the lead by about a long neck to Rocky Sky. A couple away in third placing, Skims. Moving forward is With the Moonlight, Handy in fourth. One to Amazing Grace, scraping the Hedge and behind them came Aspen Grove. Moira's about six off the pace on the inside. Consumer spending three and a half to Atomic Blonde and five away last California Queen. They sprint off with Rocky Sky going to the front. Into second skims. They head to the half mile. Fev Rover's backing into third. Coming forward is with the moonlight and running home is Moira down on the outside. Amazing Grace the rail. Back in the center is Aspen Grove. Three lengths away. Consumer spending and then Atomic Blonde and California Queen. Rocky Sky pressured on the outside skim. Fev Rover's starting to come back with the Moonlight three wide. And now Moira right off the track coming after all of them. And here comes Moira right down the extreme outside. About five across the track. Fev Rover's rebounded and got to the front and got clear. Moira down the outside giving chase. And back in third is with the Moonlight on the inside. Fev Rover right down the outside with the Moonlight and Moira. But it is Fev Rover flying through on the inside. And Fev Rover proving much the best in the EP. P. Taylor stakes and absolutely relish the ground. Fev Rover wins two and a half to With the Moonlight. Moira was third and back and forth skims, followed by California Queen, 2 4 20. Opening quarter, 25 and 3. <laughs> Rover able to capture the E.P. Taylor Stakes here with a very hot rider and Javier Castellano. Um, I want to ask you, because the rain is really starting to come down significantly, what do you think how that affected our turf course? Well, my horse, he hunted very well. I like the way he did it today on this whole beautiful splash, you know, the the turf. I think it's, it seemed to me the turf is still in really good shape. Um, it just started the rain a little bit. I don't think it have a chance to go all the way to the knee. And very lucky now for my horse, he put a good effort today. Talk me through the trip in here, because you had to work pretty hard to get the victory, but around the final turn, you obviously had a lot left. Um, was this a mare that you were very, very confident in going into it? And of course, the way that the race panned out? Yeah, absolutely. The way he developed the race, uh, I didn't expect it to be that way. I expected it to be my horse in the lead, gallop along. I felt a lot of pressure outside, and at some point, I, I tried to rise my race and let him the pace to make it go in the lead and just to be smart and ride the best race in the race to win the race. We always love having you here and I'm sure you love being here when the winds come in bunches like this. Yeah, absolutely. Very lucky enough and, you know, to particip participate with the best jockey and especially the beautiful turf course and the people here in Canada really appreciate for that. Thank you so much, Javi. Thanks a lot. Once again, it's Fev Rover able to capture the E.P. Taylor Stakes. Wasn't the way that he mapped it out trip-wise, but much the best effort in here to capture 750000 for trainer Mark Cassie. In the pick four, seven, five, three, one, all the odd numbers.